Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing Penelope's room tour. Um, this video I've been wanting to do for a little while. I've been getting a ton of questions over on Instagram about certain things in her playroom um, because I show a bunch of, you know, her playroom over on there. So if you're not following me on there, please do. I share a whole bunch of things that I don't always share here on YouTube. Um, but you guys have also seen the playroom on my YouTube channel. So there's nothing too new or crazy, but I wanted to get into detail about certain things. Um, I also did a poll on Instagram about that, whether I should go into detail about like certain things, where I got them, why I got them, if they're working for us, um, you know, things like that. And you guys, the majority, I think it was like 85% of you guys said yes, because originally I was gonna split it into two, but I was like, let me ask you guys, and that's what you guys wanted. So this video might be a little bit of a long one because of that. So I apologize if you're just here because you just want to see like quick little snips of what the playroom is. I will be showing you guys like clips of it throughout while I'm talking, but you know, I just, I had to do what you guys asked for. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I apologize if this video is a little bit of a long one, but I'm gonna try to keep it as short as I can while also explaining as much as I can. Also, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I am a first time mom to a baby girl named Penelope. She's actually now like a toddler. <laughs> I can't believe it. She is going to be a year and a half actually next month. So she is growing. She's a big girl now. I did all the updates all the way up until 12 months. So if you are in a different like age group right now with your baby, be sure to check those out. I'll have the playlist linked down below. Last thing I want to mention before we go into the video is that I am renting. Um, another thing, if you're a new subscriber here or you're just here for this video, I am renting. I live in a two bedroom apartment. It's very small. Um, and what we decided to do is convert this room which is actually the dining room into her playroom um so i'll put like a little before picture here for you guys to take a look but this is basically what the room looked like before and when it was a dining room and now it's her playroom and to me it made so much sense like i don't regret it at all i'll show you guys at the end of the video what i have now as like our little dining room and how the playroom is um, in relation to the rest of the apartment, just in case you guys are curious, but it works so well, especially cause it's like an open concept kind of thing. And so like me and my husband can like chill and watch TV if we want her to have some independent playtime, um, over in the play area. So it's great for that. But with that being said, this is a temporary thing. So I couldn't do like exactly what I wanted, or for example, there's a radiator like right under the window. So that kind of like messes with the room. It's also kind of like a long, smaller what is it it's not wide and like it's not square it's long and rectangular so that makes for like a little bit of a i don't know it's kind of it was kind of hard for me to figure out how to put certain things so i hope this helps if you're in a similar situation so yeah i think that's everything i want to say so let's just get right into the tour okay guys so this is the play room play area whatever you want to call it that used to be my dining room. Um, a couple things that I did forget to mention in the intro of this video is one, we do try to do some Montessori work combo. I don't do full Montessori um, and I'll explain that throughout the room, but we do try to do some Montessori stuff and um, a lot of her stuff does come from Love Every, which I talk to you guys about every month because we do get their subscription box. I swear by them, love them. So I'll show you guys a couple of their things that we got this month in there. I think it was 16, 17, 18 month box. It's called the Pioneer Box. Um, and so I'll talk to you guys a little bit about Love Every, why I love them when I show you guys her toys. But yeah, this is an overview of the playroom, which I love. I think it looks really cute, put together, but it's functional, which is super important in a playroom. Um, one of the things off the back that I'll tell you guys is that I love the Montessori kind of way of learning or playing because you don't have such a mess of toys everywhere. And I do like to keep it kind of minimal. So she just has what she needs to play with. And I rotate her toys out, which again, I'll get to you guys or I'll tell you guys in a minute what I mean about that. So let's start with the ball pit. So the ball pit, <laughs> I always get questions on Instagram about. It is like probably the number one question I get when it comes to her playroom. Is it worth it? Does she use it? Um, and I will say that the ball pit and her tickler I think it's called, is it? No, not Tickler, Pickler Tower something? I don't know. This tower thing, which everything will be linked on my Amazon front storefront, or if it's not, then it's gonna be linked down below separately. But is it worth it is like the main question I get. And 
um, are they separate? Like, is it sold separately? Which they are. So this ball pit I got off of Amazon. I bought the balls separately. I bought the pit separately. Um, and then the actual pickler tower, I think it's called a pickler tower. I'm sorry if that's not the name. I can't remember it right now if that's correct. But this kind of situation here with the slide um, came separately and it is also from Amazon as well. Now, this is a pricier item, um, but I do like that I have it. I think if you're gonna do either this or the nugget couch, um, I think those two are good options as far as like something for them to kind of climb, play with, um, like when they wanna be active and busy and not just sit down and play with toys that are like over there. To me, it makes the most sense to put it together with both, um, mainly because, okay, I'll explain a couple reasons why. One, this um, slide just gives her something to actually, the ball pit gives her something to slide into, obviously, um, and it's just comfortable and cushiony and you don't have to worry about them being unsafe. It is a little bit scary in the beginning when they're learning how to climb it, um, and I just like that it gives, you know, just a little bit more safety and something fun for them to slide into um the other thing is her mat that i have under here helps with it not moving all over the place so i guess i'll mention the mat too in this kind of situation but the mat in general i love for like her playroom love it i think it's awesome and totally worth it to have just a comfortable space for her to play and sit when we have such a hard hardwood floor uh if you have a rug maybe not so much but i still i love the mat um, so the mat helps for this thing not to slide all over the place this actual kind of tower does have like these little black velcro pieces here but or not velcro what are they like felt but that's just to protect your floor it's not really so it doesn't slide as much in my opinion so the mat the ball pit and the tower are golden together like i love that i bought everything separate but it all flows and it kind of looks like it goes together and it all fun it all works functionally together that makes sense so love the tower love the ball pit i will say that she just started to like it at 16 months so i don't think there's a rush in buying it but i think if you have a climber or a baby that's very active i think they will enjoy this and i won't i don't think they will enjoy it though until they're a little bit older we'll say that just so you know this also turns around and you can have it just all around like just to climb instead of slide but to me this made the most sense so I hope I answered all your questions with regards to that. I know there was a ton. Um, yes, I do think it's worth it, and I think that um, Penelope enjoys it now as she's gotten older, but they are a little pricey, so just beware. Other thing with the ball pit is yes, there's not a ton of balls in here. That's for a couple of reasons. One reason is because my dog likes to eat them and destroy them. So he probably, I'm not even kidding, destroyed about 50 of them already. Um, but I also don't have a ton in here because it just makes a huge mess and that's all she needs she just needs enough where you know gives her a little bit of sensory action or like gives her the experience of a ball pit but it's not like balls everywhere all over the place all the time so we'll say that great size for a small space um you know for this age group and it does zipper on the bottom so when you get it you just have to zipper it together and it's good to go i love it i can't really complain too much <laughs> So let's go to this side of the room because I also want to talk about decor and not only just the actual toys and everything since I've, again, gotten so many questions. So before I go down to what's over on the actual floor, I'll just show you guys this map really quick. This is the map of the United States of America um, and it's by a company called Gather. They are very expensive in my opinion, but they're leather mats and they're really, really well made. So basically you just have like this kind of canvasy front but it's leather so i don't even know if i'm explaining that right but it's just really beautifully made i love the feeling of it i love how it looks kind of like somebody just sat there and drew everything in i think it looks super cool um of course it's neutral because that's kind of my vibe but you'll see on the other side of her playroom i'm not like no color in here like i like her to have some color because that's how they learn but with something like this i didn't think it was really that necessary i don't know i'm not a teacher but that's just my feelings on it. it is really big so i decided to get the biggest size because i wanted something to fill this wall since it was such a large wall but i could have probably even gone one size down but i got it on sale and i pretty much paid what i would have paid for it to like a smaller size anyway 
um, for the bigger size. So I might as well have just gotten the bigger size. So it's really cool. I love it. And then, like I said, it's a leather mat. So even one day, if I don't want to keep it up in her playroom, you can use it for so many different things. You can take it on a picnic and literally use it to lay on. So I love it to the beach, whatever you want. I mean, you know, I think I'm going to keep it like this for a long time, no matter where we move, probably in her playroom. Um, because it's, again, it's a learning thing too. I love that. I love that it'll show her all the states and I'm sure even when she's older, she could use this as a reference. I'm sure they'll have other ways like the internet, <laughs> like we do now, but I just think it's cool. So that's kind of what I used to fill up this wall here. And then right underneath we have her sensory table. If you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that this sensory table was a mission to get. It sold out during quarantine and it had not come back in stock. And even so, I was not able to get it at Ikea. I had to order it off Amazon for triple the price. Thank God it's so cheap that even triple the price, it wasn't terrible. But still, I think I paid like 110 bucks for it, which not thrilled about, but she uses it. Um, we enjoy it and I know she'll have it for a while. So these chairs, I will say, everybody always asks, where'd you get the chairs? Because they don't, it doesn't come with anything. Um, the chairs are actually from a different Ikea table set that I got for super inexpensive. So I figured might as well keep the table for like when we move and I can use it for other things um, when I have room for it. And then I'll just use the chairs for now on this table and that works perfectly here. So if you don't know what a sensory table is, it kind of has these bins in here. You can buy them or you have to buy them separately actually, but they're super cheap from Ikea. And all this stuff is water stuff because we were doing water play this morning. So I fill it up, I let her play with bubbles or um, sensory beads or it's, you can do so many things with this. You have to look it up on Pinterest if you're interested because there's so many cool activities that you can do with your child with this table. Not to mention any other sensory table that are that's like out there. They are so expensive that this one makes it also worth it. Um, and then obviously this is just like a regular tabletop so she can color here, she can do homework here, you know, not right now, but like when she's in preschool or whatever. It's just a great, all around great table. It was also super easy to put together, which I will say is always great because Ikea never makes anything <laughs> easy to put together. But the majority of stuff that you will see in here is either from Ikea or Amazon, just so you guys know. So. That's that. Then we turn around here. She has her little kitchen, which this is more new to the um, playroom. It's, I don't know, I probably got it like a couple months ago now, but it's definitely a newer piece of the playroom. I showed you guys on Instagram that putting it together and the whole thing, it took a while to put this one together. But anyway, this is the kitchen. It's just the kitchen itself. Um, I think it's, it comes out to like a hundred bucks, which I think is really good still. And then all these like little accessories and things I bought separately. So like they have these at Ikea, little baskets full of like fruits and like vegetables or whatever. And then these little pots and pans I bought separately at Ikea. And then over here I have some more, um, things for her to play with. On the bottom is actually just like little race car tracks that I'm putting in there for storage because I don't have anywhere to put them right now. And then this actually lights up, which I think is adorable. Like, okay, Ikea, so cute. So this is really great for when they're, you know, starting to use their imagination. And I honestly have to say, I don't know if she's 100% there yet with this. So this is something that she's gonna have to grow into a little bit more, but I'm happy I have it. And it is still fun when other people wanna play with her. She likes to kind of pretend to cook, but she's not 100% there yet. She kind of gets the concept, but then she kind of tries to eat the food. My memory card got full, but what I was saying is, I don't know if it's worth it for a child that's under the age of one and a half, um, just so you know. But it's up to you, whatever you wanna do. And the other thing with this is there's a million hacks that you can make this kitchen look so, so cute. Again, on Pinterest, they have like all these different things. You can spray paint the handles gold and like, they make them look so cute, put fake backsplash, but I left it for now. I'm not in a rush to like, you know, make it look cute. Cause honestly, I think it is really cute already. Um, if anything, I'd probably just spray paint the, this, the handles like gold or black or something to make it look like even more modern. But other than that, I think it's adorable. So that is her little play kitchen here. And then we turn over here. Unfortunately, I have this beautiful radiator that kind of messes with the 
kind of flow of the room, but it is what it is. <laughs> so over here is her little reading corner. So I did want to talk about this a little in depth as well because I like this really because this is a level, like a child level um, reading corner. Uh, what is it called? Bookshelf. I'm sorry, bookshelf. So it makes it awesome for them to go and get their books themselves. And Penelope does this all the time where she'll grab a book, she'll sit right here and she'll just read by herself. And I think that's great for independence. I think it encourages that and I'm all about that. So as you guys can see, I have a ton of books here. I did do some cleanup because there were just so many that it was kind of too much. It was like overcrowding um, her book area, but I left out the ones that I know she's interested in right now. The only complaint I do have with this guy right here is that these books that are kind of tinier, you can't see. So I wish that they made like one of the shelves just a little bit shorter so you can see like those tinier books. Um, but other than that, it was like 60 bucks off Amazon. It goes with the room. It's easy for her to grab books and it's cute. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm about that. Um, the other thing that I wanna show or mention to you guys is that not all my books are super Montessori based. So when you're doing Montessori, they want you to have books that are like more like this, real pictures um, and colors and things like that. But some of her books are fantasy and you know, I don't know, is this a tiger, whatever, bear something? Not a tiger or a bear, what is this? Well, here you go. This is a giraffe, okay? Giraffes don't really look like that. They do, but they don't. Like they want them to look as real like have real pictures like this as possible um so that's why i say i do like a mix of montessori i don't do like full-on montessori but yeah that is her little reading area here if i had more room i'd love to do like a little chair or a little poof or something cute for her but i try not to keep the space cluttered so that's where we're at with that reading corner right now. One thing that I wanted to mention to you guys before I move on and I forgot, so this is a separate clip if it sounds different or looks different, is I do have her kind of um, tunnel here just hiding behind her bookshelf. Love that tunnel, it is by Love Every. You can get them pretty much anywhere, but it's awesome. Just wanted to mention because that is like a little storage saving hack too for you. Um, but it is hiding behind her bookshelf and I grab it, you know, here and there when she wants it. Okay, so before we get into her Montessori shelf situation, um, I do have a little basket here of just random toys. So this ball she likes to play with. This is her like snail guy that she uses when she wants to pull him. It's a pull toy, is what I should say. Um, and then just a couple of like other random toys in here. So I do have one basket in here of those kind of toys. Otherwise, all her toys are displayed. There's no other, like, that's it. There's nothing else in here. I don't want a mess and I don't want her to get overstimulated and I don't want it to be just too much going on. Uh, I want her to concentrate on the toys that she has out. So that's why that's the only basket that I have there. And then one last thing is a toy that is too big to fit in her cubes, but this is one of the toys from the Love Every box. It's just so well made. I love Love Every. I always rave about them. Um, it's like a wooden little car race track. Not even race track, what is it called? I don't know. I, apparently I can't talk today, but it is super cute. She is having a little bit trouble with it right now. I think this one is more towards 18 months, this kind of toy, just because she tries to put the toy in like this or like she'll just throw it randomly and I'm like trying to explain to her that's not how it goes, but it's very cute and I know she'll get it eventually. So now let's get over to my favorite part of the room, I think, her little toy cube situation and her banners and all that over here. Okay, so before I get down to the cubes, I'll mention these quickly. I just actually mentioned them on my YouTube channel, I mean, sorry, on my Instagram, um, because they just came back in stock. They're by a small owned company. I think they're pronounced Dose Lar or Mar. I can't remember exactly. They'll be linked down below. They're awesome, I love them. She actually, when I sing her the alphabet, she actually points to this now because every time I sang her the ABCs, I would come over here and be like A, B, C, E, D, whatever. And now she points to it when I sing her the ABCs because she knows. So these things are really great to have in the playroom because again, it's teaching them, but it's still, you know, it's still a playroom. So you want her to have things that, or I prefer to have things that I should say, um, are educational, but also fun and also pique her interest. So also with these banners, they did come out with an interactive um, little kit where you can use this Velcro piece and they can Velcro like the little pieces onto each um, 
shape <laughs> or each color. So I love that because when she's older, I'm gonna lower them like down to her level and I'm gonna let her do that so that she can kind of learn in that way. So love those posters or those um, kind of little, what are these called, tapestries. Um, and again, I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. So the cube situation. So this is very much a Montessori based or Montessori approach to having a playroom, toys in a playroom, um, even storage, if you will, if you want to call it, in a playroom. So it's all about the open shelving. It's all about having the child be able to see and grab their toys um, on their level and choose what they want to play with easily. And it's supposed to only be these eight toys at a time. Like that's mainly the main Montessori way. Um, you have your eight toys, that's what you play with, and that's really it, so that they don't get overwhelmed, like I said before, yada yada. So, um, I'm not a Montessori expert, <laughs> but if you want to know more about Montessori, I will link a very, very helpful YouTube channel down, be down below. I think she's like, I think she specializes in it, like, in real life, like, not just on YouTube. So, I will link her down below, she's amazing. Um, also, with these kind of cubes, you're supposed to do, like, science in one, and, like, you know, open-ended play in another and math in another. And I don't really follow that. I kind of tried, but it's hard. So I do the best I can. And I also don't want to have toys in here that she's not interested in. So just because I want to fill one cube with math stuff and she doesn't ever touch it, it's not, it's not doing anything. So that's the whole spiel about this. So on top here, I have this little rainbow. It is decorative, but it actually is open-ended play. And again, you're not supposed to have like technically stuff up here because it's just supposed to be the eight cubes but i still have some extra stuff in here like it's not a big deal to me so this you can do like open-ended play with obviously it's a puzzle she does grab it sometimes but for the most part the things on here she's not really crazy about it's just extra stuff decor a little decor and a little bit of like stuff she will actually play with but not crazy about so puzzles have never been her thing I think she's still a little young for them. She doesn't really care for them. I've tried multiple ones, easy ones, hard ones. She doesn't really care for them. So this one's up here for if she ever wants to grab it. She really doesn't, but it's there. And this one did come in the Love Every box as well. Again, most of the Love Every stuff she loves to death, but puzzles are just not her thing and that's okay. So I have it here if she ever wants to play with it, but not really her jam. This one came in a past Love Every box, I believe, but this is just like a little bunny whole thing and you can grab the bunnies out so that guy hangs out up there mainly because i think it's cute because it's a little i think it's a little young for her now at this point like she can move on to that that's another big thing with montessori they want you to rotate out the toys weekly bi-weekly even monthly um as long as the child is still playing with the toy it's okay to keep it out but they do say to rotate the toys out so that way they feel like they're playing with new toys they get experiences through new toys so i do try to do that um and i do do some toy rotations over on my instagram if you guys are curious so let's start with this cube here this is another love every toy which again i apologize i have the subscription so i'm gonna use it and she loves it so this is a little kind of like velcro situation where the insects are velcroed on there you can take them off and then you can put them in here so she just likes to take them on and off that's like fun for her so have that one there below here i have their block set which is sold separately on their website it is no joke you can do so many things with this oh actually this little straggler is supposed to go in here but you can do a million things with this these are like half the blocks that it comes with but she doesn't need all the blocks out right now at this age so i just have this right now with all the shapes she can put the shapes in she can play with them there's little people in here too i'll show you guys these little guys she can take out and play with which i think is so adorable um and you can turn this actually into a pull toy like she has with the snail and it has little wheels like little block wheels and you can play with it that way so that's an awesome one um and again you can buy that separately on their website then back up here this is from her new box this is some um like needling guess i i mean sewing needling i don't know right like you just kind of put the little um piece over the i think it's needling and this has been really difficult for her which it's so crazy because when you see a toy you're like oh that's easy it's not it's very hard for them so she basically has to figure out how to put this on but then bring her hand over it and pull it down 
and she has not figured it out yet. So I'm excited to see her master that. That's in a little basket that I got from Love Every a million years ago in one of their other boxes, but their stuff lasts and is amazing. Quality, everything. I know, I'm annoying. I sound like a commercial, but I love them. This is from, I believe, a past box. Don't think this is from their new box. And the only reason I can't remember is because this comes with three different tops and three different activities that they can use. So right now she's using the coins. And again, believe it or not, this is kind of hard because if she tries to put it in like this and it's like this, she's not, it's very hard for her to get it in there. So that's another little activity here. Total side note, but I did forget to mention that I have two dogs that shed a ton. So if you have any, or if you see any hair in my videos, like on the floor or in her like little pieces or anything, please don't judge me. I really try. I literally cleaned before. I did this video and they're still here just because it's impossible. It's in the air, it's everywhere. Okay, back to the video. So this little section here, I rotated out a couple times with different animals. Um, so I started with, I think all of them and then I decided to retract and just did the safari animals. And then I'm now I'm doing farm animals and then I'm gonna do sea animals. And these are very like Montessori in the way that they are realistic they are true to size so for example the chicken is smaller than the donkey they're not all the same size because that's how it is in real life so i do think that's a smart approach in kind of learning these animals and things like that so i work on sounds with her with these um she plays with them like she likes to take the horse because i used to go like this so now she'll like take the horse and she knows moo and the cow from playing with these so Again, I love that Montessori is teaching them, but they're also playing and having fun. Okay, and then down here we have this guy. Um, with Montessori, usually it's not a lot of plastic toys. They're a lot more wood. I thought it was cute. I wanted to buy it for her, so I bought it for her. So this actual tray is not even part of it. I got this, I think, on Amazon as well. And it's just a way so that she can grab the pieces and they stay in all one spot. But it's a nice little, like, fine motor skill, skill for her. Fine motor skill. What's the word? It's a fine motor skill activity. There you go, activity for her. So she does like using these. Um, sometimes she gets frustrated and she doesn't want anything to do with it, but for the most part, she has really gotten good at doing them. So I have those there. Those have been there for a while. I haven't rotated those out for quite a while now. And then up here, actually next to the animals, we have some flashcards. I've always had flashcards out. They just always rotate out. So for example, right now I just have like, sounds of animals or i have a couple of colors in there just because i threw them in there to start to try to introduce her to some colors but as you can see here i have the cow they have texture we have the duck um all that stuff so i like to always keep flashcards. it's a little repetitive because i have those but it's different this is a card this is an actual like figurine kind of thing that she can hold so have those that little basket is from the dollar section in Target don't sleep on that because they have awesome stuff there then down here's her little like music stuff so when we sing a song or when she's dancing like she'll come over here and grab this and want to like shake it so cute that has been there for a while have not taken those away from her because she really enjoys them so I've been leaving them there and that has been that so that is the entire little cube section and those are in the toy rotation right now i probably will leave them like this for another couple weeks and then i will try to switch a couple things out make it more exciting for her things like that okay so on to this little corner of the playroom this is a new buy this has been in the playroom now for what two days <laughs> um but recently penelope has been interested in pretending um you know to put babies to sleep or like put them in a little bed or put their blanket on there or whatever on them so the other day i decided to run to ikea and get her this little thing i was gonna try to find like a vintage crib or like something off good goodwill like a little doll crib but since this was only like 19 bucks i couldn't pass it up like i don't even think i would have found something cheaper that's cute like this at the goodwill i guess maybe i would have but whatever i went to ikea i picked it up and she's been playing pretend with her little dollies here. Um, and she tends to like this even more than her pretend like play kitchen. So I'm okay with that, obviously. I just want her to play with stuff that she enjoys. 
and right now this is her jam so she's been using this as like her little like i said pretend doll bed she does try to climb in it but <laughs> for the most part she understands that it is for dolls and i don't love this bedding i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but um i'm gonna look up some etsy ones to get something cuter because it's just not it's not my style but it's just a toy i know don't come for me in the comments <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put on that light i didn't have it on the whole time just because i don't like like kind of the yellowy cast that it can give the room but this is what it looks like with this light on this light is from ikea and my curtains are from um amazon and i will link both down below for you guys but really quick before i wrap up the video i did want to just show you the playroom in relation to the rest of the apartment if you're new here so this is the playroom and if you turn here this is our new little dining room <laughs> this is where i work well where i edit i should say um and this is where we eat and all that stuff but it works fine and i am happy that i was able to give her an entire little play space instead of having a real dining room like i can deal with this and so what i was trying to explain before in the beginning of the video is that this is our living room and there's a couple of stuff in the corner there don't judge me i need to clean that but this is our living room so basically she's able to kind of play and enjoy her space while we are able to sit down if we want to so i really love that and i really love that the playroom doesn't look crazy because it is basically part of the first whole floor like first whole not first floor because this is one one floor but the first area like the main area when you walk in you get what i'm trying to say so that's that and then over here's my kitchen which i won't show you because i hate but that is basically everything so of course i forgot to film an outro so i'm gonna film the outro right now just vlog style but i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram because i show you guys way more than i do here most times or nowadays i am trying to be more active back on youtube but it's just hard instagram just is really easy i can just go on stories and tell you guys what i'm doing every single second of the day <laughs> um but yeah that's everything i wanted to show you guys i hope you enjoyed like i said um don't forget to check the description box if you have any questions i most likely will have it linked there and if you do have questions that i don't answer there or didn't answer in this video leave them in the comments area i answer everyone or you can send me a dm on instagram so i guess that's it thank you guys for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye